Hi, I'm here today to introduce you to our element selection of three-dimensional objects in virtual reality prototype. Uh, our hypothesis in building this prototype um, was that while a mouse and keyboard and monitor uh, are a perfectly good interface for selecting elements of two-dimensional objects, um, when you use them to try to select elements of three-dimensional objects, uh, a lot of additional manipulation is required in order to select anything that isn't on the surface of the object. Um, our hypothesis was that in virtual reality, uh, to select an element of a three-dimensional object, all you need to do is put your hand onto the element you want, reaching through other elements, uh, and select it. Um, and so we built this prototype uh, in order to test that hypothesis. So, here you see our prototype. Um, our prototype object, in this case, is a large blue cube. Um, inside of this is a smaller green cube. Uh, and typically, to select an element, whether that be a vertex, an edge, or a face, um, of that green cube would be difficult in two dimensions. But in three dimensions, it's fairly simple. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and run you through the functionality of this prototype and show how easy it is to select an element within the cube. Um, so we built this prototype using the Virtual Reality Toolkit and the Oculus SDK. Um, you can see here, first of all, we have a legend activated by pressing the B or Y button um, that allows the users a reference to all of the controls available within the prototype. Um, this is built using the tooltips uh, function of the VR Toolkit. Um, so running through these in turn, uh, first we have navigation. Um, navigation is done using the grips on the side of the controller, um, controlled using your middle finger. If you press one of the grips, either one, uh, you can push and pull yourself towards objects in the scene. Um, if I wanted to get closer to this cube, I could do it by imagining a rope and pulling myself along this rope towards the object. Uh, if I hold one grip and use the control stick, I can rotate myself around the object. Um, or rather rotate myself in place. Uh, this is useful for being able to stay seated in one direction but having access to all sides of the object. Uh, finally, if I use two grips um, and push the controllers together or pull them away, I can scale myself growing either uh, large or small in proportion to the object. Uh, so next we'll move on to selection. Uh, if I hover the controller over an element of the object, it will light up. Um, this indicates that if I were to press the trigger right now, um, that this is the element that would become selected. And if I do so, we see it turns red to indicate that it is selected. Uh, wherever possible in this interface, we tried to keep similar paradigms to desktop computing. Um, in this case, a similar paradigm to selecting objects uh, or icons on a desktop, where if I click outside of any object, then the previous selection object uh, returns to being deselected. And typically, selecting multiple objects in a row um, will simply cause the latest element to become uh, selected. Unless I hold a button, um, in our case the A or X buttons, in the case of a Windows PC it would be Control, um, in which case, as long as I hold that, I can select multiple elements. Now, as to selecting elements inside the cube, um, first of all, I need to be see what I'm doing. And so to that effect, we have used um, ray casting in order to make intervening objects between the controller and the headset transparent. So if I stick my hand through this object, then it becomes transparent, and I can always see the object that my controller is actually touching. Um, so in this case, I can simply reach through the blue cube and select an element on the green cube, as simple as that. Uh, now, in engineering interfaces, um, it's often important to be able to select only one kind of element, whether that is a vertex, an edge, a face, or an entire object at once, um, as a precursor to doing any number of kinds of operations. So to that effect, we've used the VR Toolkit to build in a radial menu um, that lets the user change the element filter type 
um, such that they can only select one element at a time. Um, and that can be set to vertex, edge, face, object, or all elements. So if I were to select face, uh, you would see that only faces will highlight when I hover over them, and only faces are capable of being selected. Uh, so that is our prototype. Um, there are many types of things we would like to add to it in the future. Um, but in our testing so far, we have found that many users um, found it much more in, uh, easy to execute uh, controls once they had understood the uh, means of controlling it than in a similar 2D interface for selecting, especially for selecting objects within other objects.